Michigan voters showed up to weigh in on proposal three that is regarding reproductive rights. Here's a look at students lined up to cast their votes at the University of Michigan today. The line stretched across Michigan's campus. Tatiana Cash is live tonight in another part of Michigan. Our neck of the woods, Bedford Township with more on reproductive rights on the Michigan ballot. Tatiana. That's right, Melissa. So here now at Bedford Township, folks are finally filing out because, of course, as they're working to count all those uh, ballots, what I did hear from voters in both pro and against, they agreed that the one big thing they wanted everybody to do is vote. Now, Prop 3, again, it's about your reproductive rights. Now, if voted yes, what happens is it changes the state's constitution so that way Michigan will only interfere on specific abortion cases. Also, you are not going to be prosecuted for those seeking an abortion, and then you won't be prosecuted as someone helping helping someone seek an abortion. And for those who don't live here in Michigan, they also will not be prosecuted and will be able to receive an abortion. Now, when it comes to ballot proposal three, what it is is it was an initiative uh, supported by specifically reproductive rights organization. They went out and gathered 750,000 signatures from uh, valid Michigan uh, residents who are able to vote. And when I spoke with voters earlier today, again, some were for, some were against, but the fact is they just wanted to make sure their voice was being heard. I feel that everybody has a right to their own body. Um, young girls, you know, I just feel that it's your body. You should have a right to it. So again, it was all about free choice when we spoke to people, whether it's choosing to or not to, depending upon their beliefs. So of course, as votes come in, we'll find out exactly which way this vote sways. Uh, live here in Bedford Township, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.